What is going on, YouTube? We are back with AIM Academy Episode 4. We're going to be breaking down this video into two segments because it is a one tip, but I want to break it down and explain to you guys very in depth. So make sure to pay attention, watch the video, learn something new. Let's get right into it. Okay, guys, if you don't know me, my name is Apathy. Well, my real name is Brian. I'm a pro player for the LAG, LA Gorillas. And this is a series I decided to start to give you guys tips on how to improve your aim and how to have a better shot. And we are doing episode four today. I've already uh, touched and talked about some really pretty big, important things on aiming, but there's still a couple things I'm missing. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the main component. It's going to be strafing and kind of how does this help your aim and when you should do it. So when I shoot, if I could show you guys, it's kind of hard to show you guys, even if I show my controller, but anytime I shoot somebody or I'm in a gunfight, I'm constantly strafing. Like you saw right there, I was saying some mini strafes, but I'm constantly using my left stick. Now, I remember I got this asked this question a long time ago, like, hey, Apathy, when you shoot, do you use your, both sticks or do you use only your right stick? Because obviously, essentially, your right stick is the one that aims, but no, you actually want to use both sticks at all times and you want to be strafing and using your strafe to help you like hit your shots and kind of lead them into you. So this is um, a big factor and I think this helps my aim and helps a lot of people hit way better shots consistently. So yeah, strafing is going to be basically what this video is going to be about today and how do you use it. But now let's get straight into the depth a part of the video. So basically when you shoot people, you want to strafe. You want to go left to right, left to right. Now, the way you want to use this is obviously um, one. There's two reasons why you do this. One, it's harder for them to sometimes shoot you. And two, it's going to be easier to hit your shots if you're kind of leading them into it. So if I, let's say I snap here and I kind of lead my shot into that guy. And this is going to really help you hit your shots because not only are you using your right stick, but you're also using your left stick, the movement stick, to basically help you hit those super precise shots because... Obviously, if you have two things helping you versus one, it's going to be a little bit easier. So when I shoot people, I'm constantly strafing back and forth. Uh, sometimes I hit a hard left strafe. Sometimes I hit a hard right strafe. It, very, it, it just depends. It becomes muscle memory. You kind of understand when to use it. And I just shot that grenade midair, didn't I? Yeah. But you basically want to strafe a lot in gunfights. And you kind of want to lead. You see how... I snapped wrong, so I had to strafe left. And you don't always have to use only your right stick. Like, I can probably, if I center good here, like, I can use more of my left stick than my right stick and still hit really good shots. And that's where strafing is really, really important. And it's going to help you hit those really precise shots. So, when you're shooting at people, what I want you to practice is I want you to use your left stick a lot while you're shooting at people and while you're basically in gunfights, whatever it is, using your left stick basically strafing around and helping your helping your movement and your your character your your body to kind of lead the shots into them so in every single gunfight i'm constantly strafing whether it's a small strafe or a big strafe like i said i strafe i use this mechanic i use this maneuver at all times to hit those really precise shots you see i hit that hard like mini strafe then i hit a hard right strafe back to the left and it just it helps me, man. It really helps me, especially in some weird, awkward gunfights or it's really hard to see them. And it's kind of like you adapt mid gunfight. Like if you see your shots missing or you see like you you kind of have to lead them or kind of have to lead them um, straight hard to kind of make your aim land on their body, then sometimes you got to do that. And you can do like a diagonal straight. It doesn't always have to be left or right. You can kind of do like, you know, it's just really good in this game. And let me tell you, every pro player uses this mechanic to help hit those precise shots. Every single one use their left sticks. The only time you only really want to use your right stick is maybe if you're in like in a super head glitch. And then you can kind of sit here and just use your right. But even then, I'm, I'm hitting some mini strafes. I'm still moving. It's just so good. And if you master it, if you can control both, you understand. I know some. We got, we got some expert people, some advanced, advanced, super advanced players probably who watch my video. And they definitely understand what I'm talking about. And if you don't, well, that's just something you have to practice and you will understand eventually and kind of get better at it. But basically, 
when you want to strafe is like i said when there's certain gunfights where you feel like you need to kind of strafe your body into them versus like you need to use your left stick more than your right stick you will notice it you can adjust mid gunfight but there's certain situations where like a hard right strafe is really good a hard left strafe is really good on top of it no matter if you're in the head glitch no matter where you are i don't care if you're right here you can still hit some strafes you can still move a little bit like you can stay still but as soon as you see somebody i'm moving i'm i'm shooting him and i'm strafing this is important to understand because when people are in head glitches or people are in these power spots they think hey let me just sit here that's how you get one that's how you get camera if you're just sitting here not moving at all and not kind of like using a strafe to help you hit your shots and to top it off just being like a statue well this is the easier kill for whoever is fighting you so no matter where you are if you're in a head glitch like if i'm here i'm still kind of strafing back and forth like i'm making this one harder kill for them and two it's going to make it easier for me to hit my shots so no matter even if you're in a head glitch because you're probably saying like apathy even if you're on a head glitch yes even if you're on a head glitch you still kind of want to strafe around obviously when you're in a head glitch usually you don't want to strafe as much and you don't want to strafe off the head glitch but you still like even this head glitch like you still want to move around and if you have an ar like sometimes obviously the sub has i think a little bit more strafing speed when shooting i think ar with the right attachments has a high strafing speed as well but um you definitely even when you're on a head glitch you definitely want to use this mechanic use this maneuver whatever you want to call it and this is going to help you hit your shots so if you're one of those players who don't really use your left stick much and you kind of just use your right stick trust me you got to switch that up you got to use both it will make you better and if you just use the left a little bit you you need to use it more then well practice that use it it will make you hit your shots it will make it easier and like i said the reason why this is so good i want to clarify this so people understand is if i need to make a small like if i'm aimed at someone sometimes you need to move the right stick right but sometimes i can just like let's say his body's right here let's say his body's this barrel and i'm right here instead of me having to like move my left stick and maybe over move or whatever it is all i have to do is move my body one inch to the left or two inches to the left and look he's on it i'm on the i'm on the guy now i didn't have to do some crazy like adjustment maybe miss maybe whatever it is i used both my sticks so maybe i i i, I like snap miss snapped move left bang on him and that's why that's what i'm trying to explain to you guys like kind of adjusting to them and kind of like snapping on them like sometimes you can use your right stick i'm not saying never use your right stick sometimes it's easier sometimes it's very situational but i'm telling you every single gunfight whether I'm strafing left, right, diagonal, whatever it is, I'm constantly using my left stick. You see, like I'm shooting, at, like I'm not shooting this guy and just standing still. I'm shooting this guy and strafing to the left, like what, like left, top left, you know, like constantly. And it helps you because, I guess, like a little side note, like not only is it gonna help you hit your shots, but it's like the head glitch thing. Like if you're constantly moving when you're shooting people, it's gonna help you get out of situation faster maybe someone's about to trade you or is about to be on you and since you moved forward since you moved left since you moved right now he can't see you and you know you're out in the clear that's something small though but this is a really good tip guys but guys if you enjoyed today's episode nice little tip video for you guys make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel we're getting close to 200k subs i did say if we had 200k subs i'll do in a day in the life of a pro player um right now obviously with covid and stuff it's we do have offices and we've been kind of away from it, but it'd be pretty cool if I could do like, you know, a day of like waking up, going to the offices, practicing with the team. Like I could get that done for you guys once we hit 200K, a nice little 200K special. Hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure to, like I said, like the video helps me and I help you. You help me. I help you. Nah, but seriously appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.